So a solid field in this men's 100 meters. Raheem Chambers of Auburn on Kendall Williams' left is certainly able to bring it. The wind has been down, so we can expect that this race will be wind legal. And the Williams with a good start in lane five, but right next to him is Catavius Walter, who also got up well. Kendall Williams has all he can handle from Raheem Chambers, but when Williams pulls away in the last 20 meters to win it, one, one, our screen says 999, and that's what it is. 9.99 wind is 1.1, so it's a legal first time under 10 seconds for the junior from Georgia. He had been knocking at the door so consistently to get under that 10 second mark. A well-deserved celebration with his teammate getting two Georgia Bulldogs in there. What a performance from Kendall Williams and really a flawlessly executed race almost start to finish. Take a look at he eases his way getting up to full posture striding out and you can see getting all that he can handle as you mentioned Dwight from Raheem Chambers to his left charges bursts through all all the way. Look at how powerful he looks coming down the straightaway, driving his arms, pumping his arms. Catavius Walter putting up a great fight as well in this event. But wow, what a performance from Kendall Williams in this race. Number two time in the world, only American Ronnie Baker, a former 60 meter indoor NCAA champion a couple of times, has a faster time this year. Kendall Williams breaks the magic 10 second barrier and wins an SEC title here. Raheem Chambers at 10-10, a very fine race for him. And Mustaqeem Williams hangs on for Tennessee.